In this video, we'll cover all the basics of customizing the ASPX card view, starting from dropping the control onto the form and binding it to data, to diving deeper into an overview of design time and runtime features. First, let's start by reviewing the demos related to the main ASPX card view features. The DevExpress ASP.NET card view is a powerful editing and data shaping component allowing end users to manage information and display it in a card view. You can customize the grids layout, implement searching, sort and filter data, and edit cards, and more. The built-in search panel allows end users to filter data and highlight search results. Let's try to perform a new search and review the results. You can also sort data within the grid against an unlimited number of columns. A column's current sort order is indicated by a sort glyph displayed on the right side of the column header located within the customization panel. When a column is not sorted, the sort glyph is hidden. Filtering can be implemented either by using the header filter or by using the filter control. By using the built-in filter control, end users can build complex filter criteria with an unlimited number of filter conditions and logical operators. With the header filter, we can easily filter cards by selecting the values within the drop-down list. Like the filter control, the header filter allows end users to filter cards by more than one column. Card view content can be edited in several modes, edit form, pop-up edit form, and batch edit mode. In edit form, card values are edited using the inline edit form. Now, let's move to Visual Studio. We're starting with the basic one-page application created with the DevExpress ASP.NET Project Wizard. First, drop the card view to your ASP.NET page from the Visual Studio Toolbox. To data bind it, click the Card View Smart tag and choose the New Data Source option. You can data bind any of the standard Microsoft data sources, DevExpress data sources, and anything that returns an IEnumerable interface. Select SQL Data Source and click OK. Let's create a new symbol connection. Select the Northwind database. Now from the product table, I'll select the product ID, product name, unit price, units in stock, units on order, and discontinued fields. Next, click the Advanced button and check the Generate Insert, Update, and Delete Statements checkbox. This generates the SQL statement that will allow the grid to modify the database records. Then click Next, test the query, and click Finish. We now have a new SQL data source that is bound to the card view. Let's take a look at this in the browser. And you can see we have a beautiful and functional grid control. The grid allows you to instantly page through the data using the built-in pager. Now let's move on to the next step. The ASPX card view provides you a quick way to get started with powerful features. Let's add some more features to the grid and take a look at the handy smart tag that allows you to enable and configure powerful features easily. We can enable searching, summary calculation, filtering, editing, card inserting, and deleting. The UI is automatically adjusted for you as these features are enabled. Next, let's explore the Columns Editor. This dialog allows you to customize the columns in detail. The toolbar at the top allows you to insert, delete, and modify the column types. Let's replace the Units on Order column. First, we'll remove it. Now we'll insert a new column type, Spin Edit. Now set the field name property to units on order and it will be data bound to this field in the database table. Also, move the unit price column down and set its display format string property to C. This will display the unit price column as a currency value. Now let's explore the properties panel. The ASPX card view is very intuitive, so you can find and set a property with ease. Here, we can change the control's ID, set it to Products Card View. The Settings category lets you control many different aspects. For example, the Settings Text property lets me change or add specific text. Set the title text to Product Information. To display this title, set the Show Title Panel property to True. Under the settings behavior, I can set the Allow Focus Card property to true. 
This will allow the end user to select a card by clicking on it. Next, let's calculate a total summary for the data. Summaries are simple to add. Bring up the Totals Summary Editor. Add one total summary. Set the field name property to Product ID and Summary Type to Count. This will give us an overall count of the records in the grid. Now let's go to the source code. Here is the entire grid's code, including the columns and summaries we defined. You have access to the Smart Tag from the source code too, and you can set up the ASPX card view the same way you can from the designer. For example, let's set the width of the grid. We'll set the width to 100%. Now let's add one more total summary. Its field name property is set to unit price, and summary type is set to average. This will give us the average price of all units. I can also modify a column. Let's set the different header text for the units in stock column. Set the caption property to in stock. And finally, let's display the header filter for the columns. Set the show header filter button property to true. And let's run the project. Now you can see our ASPX card view has multiple features. In the bottom of the control, we can see the summary panel, where the count of products and their average prices are shown. Now let's try to search cards that contain AND symbols. As a result, we can see filtered cards. You'll notice that each time the records are filtered, the values within the summary panel are updated. Now let's explore card editing. I'll click Edit to bring up an edit form. Modify the units on order value and click Update. It will automatically save by using an AJAX callback. And finally, let's try the header filter option, which gives us all the unique values in each of the columns. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.